What's up guys, welcome back to the Red Peak Media channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak and today I wanna to give you six reasons you absolutely need a social media strategy. But before we get to those reasons directly, I do wanna give you guys some very important numbers that center around social media that I think every business owner should be aware of moving into the rest of this year. The first network I wanna talk about is Facebook, where you can find 79% of all American internet users. Now there are certainly people who seem to think that we are past the golden age of Facebook or who are just completely ignoring Facebook because they can't get the type of organic reach that they're looking for. And personally, I think that's a huge mistake. Yes, the organic potential on Facebook has dipped considerably when you look at the statistics over the years, but the potential that they hold in terms of the ad campaigns you can create is still immense. And the ROI is very, very cost effective. So if you know what you're doing with Facebook ads, you can actually generate a substantial amount of leads and reach a large portion of your potential customers. So again, that 79% of all American internet users can be found on Facebook. If you're not taking advantage of Facebook and you don't have a Facebook business page yet, you're gonna find a link right down below in the description that'll take you to a blog post and that'll walk you through the entire process. Next, let's talk about YouTube, which is hitting the 18 to 34 and 18 to 49 age ranges more more prominently than any other social network. Now, organically speaking, I would say that YouTube's probably the most difficult platform to build an audience on, but because of the increased attention being placed on places like Facebook and Instagram, there's some good opportunity to experiment with pre-roll video ads. The targeting is very good and you're not charged if somebody's actually skipping the video ad that you're putting out there. Finally, I wanna talk about Instagram, where 32% of all teenagers believe that Instagram is the most important social network, and 51% of all Instagram users are accessing the platform daily, with 35% of those users accessing the platform several times a day. Now, I've also personally found that the organic potential on Instagram is much higher than networks like Facebook and YouTube, or pretty much any other social network that you could be leveraging right now, especially if you're using hashtags correctly. There's also still considerable opportunity to find influencers on Instagram, and there's a lot of attention being placed on various influencers. Now, having someone like that promo your product can be very effective, and I think the pricing structure that a lot of them are offering is still very cost effective given the return you're going to get. So just given the combination of stories, of the type of ad campaigns you can set up, the organic potential there, especially if you're leveraging hashtags and influencers on Instagram, there's a lot there that I think you should be taking advantage of as we move here into 2018. And those are the only three networks I wanna discuss, as well as some of the more important information that hopefully help convinces you that you need to be on these networks. Now, let's talk about these six reasons you absolutely need to have a social media strategy. But before we dive right in, I do wanna take a moment to ask that if you are enjoying the video, please do subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified anytime I upload a new marketing video. Now, the first reason you absolutely need a social media strategy has to do with how the different networks allow you to target target your potential customers. Platforms like Google and Facebook have made it incredibly easy to target your potential customers based on a wide variety of different variables. You can target people based on specific interests, their specific location, their income, employer, education, and so much more. And this is exactly why I love social media so much because compared to traditional mediums of outbound marketing, there's not a lot of control with your targeting. So let's say a billboard, for example, you can't control the type of people that drive past that billboard and see your message. Even if a lot of those people driving by aren't specific specifically in the target audience you wanna be reaching. Now with a Facebook ad, you can actually control who you want to include and exclude from seeing your ads. So you're not paying for people who are not valuable to your business strategy. Reason number two is you can gather immediate customer feedback, both positive and negative from your current and potential customers. Social media can help eliminate the need to have to send out surveys via email or direct mail, which obviously means that it is also a potentially more cost-effective way to gather customer feedback. Feedback that can immediately help your business grow or adapt, and it's also an excellent form of social proof. People who see the feedback that other customers are giving you on social media and the responses that you have, you have to make sure that you're responding to feedback immediately. They also see that as an effective form of social proof and credibility of your brand. Next, we have web traffic, lead generation, and search results. Now, one of the primary uses of social media is to drive traffic back to your website, where you can then convert that traffic into leads and then follow up with those leads and convert them to customers. That's the general process that you wanna be using. Now, there are also free tools that you can use like Bitly or Google Analytics that help you see exactly how many people are clicking back to your website from social media networks. Also, all of that traffic that 
you're generating from social networks, or if people are sharing your content from your website onto social networks, Google is gonna see that as a sign of credibility and improve your search rankings. Now I could go much more in depth on discussing the process of generating traffic, converting that traffic into leads, and then following up with those leads. There's a lot to touch on there. So I actually created an ebook on it that has to do with specifically generating traffic from Facebook. If you'd like to download that ebook and learn more, then there's gonna be a link to it right down below in the description. If you're on Facebook, head on back to YouTube and you'll find it there. But moving on to reason number four is immediate customer service and brand loyalty. So one of the best things about social media is you can monitor the conversation that people are having about your product or service and then insert yourself into that conversation immediately and show that you are always actively trying to provide the best possible experience for your customers. That type of immediate and direct communication is an excellent way to build a very loyal fan base that will only become advocates of your business. Reason number five, social media can actually save you a lot of money. Now, one of the biggest challenges facing small to medium-sized businesses is increasing brand awareness and exposure on a budget. Social media is an excellent solution to that challenge. And in fact, if you break it down on a cost per impression basis, on average, social media is the only way to reach over a thousand people for around a $3 expense, which is insanely cost effective. Now, if you wanna see how that return stacks up to other mediums of marketing, then I did create an in-depth chart and you can find that back on the full blog post, link to which is right down below. Um, and also you're gonna find links to all the different studies that created those different numbers. And finally, reason number six just has to do with brand awareness and exposure. If social media is the most cost-effective place to reach the largest number of people, then it's probably the best place to increase your overall brand awareness and exposure, right? The whole idea behind social media is to represent your brand through a number of different mediums, be it blogs, images, video, content in general. And even if you look outside of just ad campaigns, there are a number of different tools that social networks offer for you to reach and interact with your potential customers. Things like long form posts, live videos, stories, groups, the list goes on and on. And that's all I got for you guys today in this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys are looking for a more detailed breakdown of everything I discussed in this video, again, there's gonna be a link down below in the description to the full blog post, which you can go check out. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.